High pressure's been our weather friend these days. The center that high is on the move, unfortunately. Saying goodbye eventually to that friend here in just a couple of days. Making room for a weak cold front. That means we got some clouds in the forecast. I mentioned the showers earlier over in the central mountains and northern portions of the Arco Desert. I don't think we'll really see any shower activity, at least not from this here in the Snake River Plain tonight nor tomorrow. But you will notice a lot more in the way of clouds and it will not be 81 in Pocatello tomorrow. Will be comfortably cooler. It's the next storm, though, that will bring with it widespread shower activity, not just for the mountains, but in the Snake River Plain tomorrow night into Wednesday. And the wind will really pick up with that one and it will continue to push temperatures down. So, kind of a one two punch over the next couple of days. This is our punch one tonight, tomorrow, and then this is a much stronger round that will definitely be noticeable, especially when you look down on the ground and see how wet it is. And for the mountains, we're talking snow. Of course we are, right? Storm tracker radar, you can see the showers up in Clark County, in northern Butte County, extending all the way to the Magic Valley. All this will stay just to our west, west of the Snake River Plain at least. I wouldn't be surprised though, Dubois, you might see a little bit of, of uh, the showers and thunderstorms as they come whizzing on by, maybe clipping parts of uh, eastern Clark County as the night wears on. Storm tracker, forecast for tonight. We got an increasing cloud cover tonight, so not quite as uh, clear of a night than what we've seen the last several. 50 is what we're looking for low in temperature in Pocatello, and that'll keep us a bit warmer. The clouds out there are not as cool, too. So a little bit of a blanket, in other words. Increasing clouds for Idle Falls, the low temperature of 43, and we'll get some wind off and on. We'll definitely get some wind, especially tomorrow afternoon. Wind speeds as high as 20 miles per hour. We haven't had wind quite that strong the last several days, and we haven't had a lot of cloud cover. In fact, no clouds really at all the last few days. That will definitely change for tomorrow. We'll call it partly sunny and a high tomorrow, 10 degrees cooler than it was today. Pocatello 68. Even that 68 though is a smidgen above average for this time of year. Clouds and sunshine in the forecast and you'll notice the wind too for the Gate City out of the southwest 10 to 15. Elsewhere on the temperature map, only one place it'll be in the 70s tomorrow and you're going to have to drive south to it. The Lad City will have a high of 71. Travel tracker farther west and northwest you go, the more likely you'll see those showers. Chance of rain showers and salmon tomorrow, definitely cooler there. You go farther east, maybe a little more sunshine and a bit windier, especially in southwestern Wyoming with gusty winds expected in Evanston, high temperature in the 60s. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. We're out of the 60s on Wednesday, only in the 50s. Some extra wind, rain likely starting tomorrow night. Could see some rain Thursday morning. And it looks like for Pocatello, our first freeze of the season, yeah, Friday morning. Idle Falls, just as cold. Yeah, we get pretty cold at night. Low temperatures will start to rise above or stay above freezing as we go into the weekend. Rexburg seven day forecast. Enjoy the 66 after tomorrow. We're in the 50s for the rest of the work week with rain on the way tomorrow night, Wednesday, maybe some rain on Thursday for the Teton area. It goes from rain Wednesday to rain turning to snow Wednesday night and then rain and snow showers throughout the day on Thursday. So what a change we'll see. Accumulation of up to six inches in some of the Tetons out of the storm. And for the Central Mountains, we got a chance of rain tomorrow. Our next real wave of precipitation will be on Wednesday. Uh, down low, it'll be all rain, but up high, of course, in the higher peaks, we'll see some snow, Matt.